I'm going to do a video that uh, maybe some people take for granted that they know how to do this. So this video wouldn't be for you, but there are people out there, I'm sure, who maybe are new at backing up a trailer, hooking up a trailer. As a matter of fact, what made me decide to do this video is uh, on the blog I go to, the survivalistblog.net, there was a person who had just gotten a trailer and they were uh, experimenting, I guess, with uh, backing it up or, you know, practicing, starting to get good at it. And I thought to myself, you know, I bet you there's a lot of people that don't know there's a few little tips and tricks and and uh, ways to make it a little easier and I'm gonna do a video about that so uh, you ready you gonna help you gonna spot me all right I'm gonna just go about this like I was gonna be hooking up my trailer here's here's what I want to show you an easy way to hook up your trailer and breezy I'm gonna have to let you down if you get in my mirrors so uh, I'll, I'll back up we'll do this just in real time first here's my trailer back over here okay breezy I'm gonna have to let you down you wanna get down you gotta get down all right there's my trailer when you when you're hooking up to your trailer or backing up to it you want to make sure you have an equal amount of that trailer in each mirror and I do not so here's what I'm gonna do all right I can see the fender And I've got about the same amount in this mirror. So uh, now I'm going to back up to where I think I'm, you know, getting close to it, the hitch. I'm going to show you a way. All right, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to get out. I'm going to see how far, how much further I have to go back. I, I'm pretty sure we're were you know square with the trailer don't that's somebody working in the yard don't go to barking all right I would say we are about 30 inches from that being on that now I'm gonna look at this from another angle And it looks like we're pretty much square. And that's what making sure you have an, you have the, the equal amount in your mirrors does. It, it puts you pretty much square with this. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to judge 30 inches. And this method, you may have to get out more than once, but I'll show you how I do it. Take something uh, heavy that won't move Let's see, I will use a wrench. Just uh, lay it, you could use a stick or a rock or something that's already there like a, you know, cigarette butt. See how far my foot is from that wrench? That's about the same distance that I want to back up. So let me put this in Reversify. Yeah, I'm going to say, well, I'm going to go back this pair because it moved. There we go. All right, now let's see how close we are. Pretty damn close. And uh, if you're that close, you can let take a little weight off of that.
and I swear you can pull your truck or pull your trailer. Take a little more weight off. Pull your trailer. A little more weight. Or you could just get back in. See, now you're now you're on. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move this all the way up. So now I'm gonna show you the easy way to back it up. Now that was an easy way to hook up. Uh, let me grab this wrench before I go off and forget it. Now, safety chains. I always put my safety chains on when I, when I get on the road. If you don't have them, it just, what you're doing if you don't have them, is you're placing a lot of other people that you don't know in danger. If, uh, to me, it's kind of reckless and careless. If, uh, if you don't have safety chains, you know, you're, you're taking a lot of liberties with the, the health and life of uh, other people. All right, my truck has two kinds of plugs. This plug is for a trailer that has electric brakes. I don't use that. Uh, I had a camper at one time and I used it then, but I don't have a camper now. And uh, this is the plug I use now. I, as a matter of fact, I just rewired this ground wire. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm just in my driveway, so I'm not going to plug that in. But I always check my lights before I leave. My biggest well, one of my complaints about uh, people with trailers is man, it takes no effort to make sure your trailer lights work. No effort. And I see so many people driving down the road who haven't even bothered to plug their trailer in so you can tell when they're stopping. I just wanted to give you a shot of that again. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to pull this down the road out in my driveway. I'm not going to. Right, I tell you what, I, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is go out here, turn around, and then pull up in my driveway, and then back my trailer back around here. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna show you how to back up straight first. So, use the same principle. Okay. You want to use the same principle that you use when you're backing up towards your trailer. You want to keep the same amount of trailer in your mirror. Uh, and here's another tip that I, I will mention, and I might mention it several times because lots of people don't know this. If you want your trailer to move to the left, you turn your steering wheel to the right while you're backing. If you want your trailer to move to the right, you turn your steering wheel, steering wheel to the left. It's just the opposite. All right, let's go. Let's back up here. You want to keep, if, you want, if you're happy with the direction the trailer is going in, you want to keep it with the same amount of trailer in your mirror. And when you make corrections, here's another mistake people make. When they make corrections, they make major half a turn corrections. If you stay with it and you and you keep that amount of trailer in your mirror, the corrections you need to make are minor, minor, minor corrections. Okay, now it is going to the right, my right some, which is where I want it to go. I want it to go square with that with that uh, building back there. So I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna follow it. What I'm gonna do is turn my wheel to the right and I'm gonna follow that some. I don't want it to get out of hand, but uh, I wanna keep that slight arc that I have going. Okay, now I'm gonna straighten it out because I'm back where I wanna be. So I'm gonna put that same amount of trailer in my mirror again, that, that means it's going straight backwards.
hope you can see that. It's hard to do all this wall backing. All right, uh, I'm going to go out and turn around, and I'm going to come up here in my driveway, and I'm going to back my trailer back here where I'm at now. Uh, you won't have to watch that. We'll be right back. See how I got my trailer started? I've got the arc that I want started. Now, you can't really jack your trailer around that much, so I may have to take two or three different stabs at this, but uh, what I'm going to do is get my trailer in the general direction that I want. So I want my trailer to go to the left, so I'm going to put a couple of turns to the right just to get my trailer started on the arc that I want it to go down. The path, the avenue, the direction. All right, now that's that's a good arc. That's that's a direction I want it to go in. So I'm gonna unwind it a little bit. I don't want it to get too far or else they'll jackknife the trailer. Now, okay, it's going in the direction I want. So now I'm just gonna sort of follow that arc with my steering wheel. If it goes too far, one way, I'm going to unwind. If it goes too far the other way, I'm going to wind it, wind it up a half a turn. Okay, now I'm in the general direction. I'm going to go back to that blue tarp there. Okay, here's, here's how far the trailer is. That's where I want it, right beside that house there. And that's where it is. It's probably uh, 10, 12 feet away from where I want it. Now, go forward. Okay, that's about how far, that's about how far I want it from the house, and that's about perfectly straight right there. So, we're going to back, and we're going to try to keep that amount in the mirror, and uh, it'll be perfect. And the, the simple fact is, the more you do this, uh, the easier it comes to you, the better you get at it. Now I want to try to stop pretty much where that wooden block is back there. And I kind of know where that is. Yep, when my, when my truck goes off the edge of the curb, I pull forward just a skosh. And that ought to be right over that block or close to it. All right, let's go see. Close enough. Now if you had, you sure wouldn't want to do this if you had weight on your trailer. Because if you do that, it might be too much weight past the axle. That's another thing about loading trailers. Uh, axles are generally past the halfway mark. And when you load a trailer, you want to make sure you got the majority of the weight uh, on the, I'll say left, left side of your axle, the side closest to your towing vehicle. You don't want to, you don't want to put all the weight up here, but let's say you were going to put a thousand pounds in this trailer. You would want about 600 on that side, 400 on that side. You want tongue weight. You want a little bit of tongue weight, not too much. If you get too much, then your trailer does this squirrely fishtailing thing going down the road. Loading your trailer, right, is, is as important as uh, tying stuff down. Alright. This isn't important. You all know how to do that. Let me see if I 
forgot anything. I just repeat, uh, when you're backing up and you want to go straight, you want to keep the same amount of trailer in each mirror. And sometimes your trailer is, a, you know, not as wide as your vehicle or, or your mirrors can't see any of the trailer. So in that case, you would, uh, you know, if you didn't see any mirror, any trailer in either mirror, uh, as soon as you saw some in one mirror or the other, you would react with a steering wheel if you wanted to go back straight. Uh, second rule of thumb is many small corrections are way better than one huge correction. I mean, it's better to wiggle that steering wheel a hundred times than uh, to put a turn or two turns on it. Once you get into that predicament, you've kind of, you're, you're, you've, you've gone out of control. And if you do get back where you, where you need to get, it's uh, more by accident than by skill, <laughs> which is, you know, the way you learn. So there's nothing wrong with doing it over and over and over until you finally get it. And, uh, and uh, then it doesn't become a problem. Then it's just a matter of uh, practicing the, the uh, basically you have to get this big picture in your head. Backing is not easy. And I'll tell you the truth, my wife probably doesn't want me to say this, but she drove an 18 wheeler for 23 years and she never got good at backing. And, uh, you know, in her defense, I did the majority of the backing just because uh, it was easier and quicker. And there's a lot of people looking at you and you, you're in the way, I mean, when you pull into a warehouse and, and you're backing up, uh, you're basically stopping traffic in both directions and you gotta do it fairly quick or people get pissed. Anyway, steer, turn your wheel the opposite direction you want your trailer to go in. Small, minor adjustments are better than major steering wheel adjustments. Uh, hook your safety chains up. Make sure your tail lights work. That's just, you know, it's only right. You have a little more responsibility when you're pulling a trailer. Load your trailer right. Make sure you put a little more weight closer to the truck than away from it. And uh, while I'm here, I'll just show you some of the things I have to tie, tie stuff down with. Uh, I drove a truck for way over half my life, and I saw a lot of stuff, very expensive stuff that was destroyed from coming out of a trailer and landing on the road and you know smashing into a million pieces because it wasn't tied down enough so when you're going down the road you not only have side forces uh, if you're going around corner or a curve you have centrifugal force you also have if you're on uh, you know a major highway you have 70 mile an hour winds that are trying to push what you've tied down off 70 mile an hour winds. Uh, I've seen people going down the road with a brand new king size mattress set tied down with a string. And it's not going to get there. Anyway, here's what I got. Plenty of chains. And I have binders, chain binders. To me, that's pretty much what I use all the time. Because they don't give. When you use rope, you have to check it occasionally if you're going very far. And take the, uh, the slack out of it. And uh, I have these U-bolts that I put on the top rail all the way around. I even have them on the bottom below my tailgate there. Uh, I think I even have a couple up here. Do I? No, I used to. That's right, I, I put that there and I had to remove them. Anyway, if I can ever answer any questions about backing up, let me tell you, it's one of the few things I do well. So uh, I'd be glad to answer any questions.